All right, we made it. Literally, YouTube, I swear, they keep changing the way to go live, and it's very sad. But, uh, quick question, because I did change microphone settings. Number one, can you actually hear me? Because that would be really sad if you can't, although it would be really difficult to answer if you can't hear me. Uh, number two is the music volume at a decent spot, because I turned that up a good bit. Should be, like, close to okay, but we can turn that up if necessary. Random flu pro joking insult here. How dare you? Rude. Very rude. Almost true acting all your time. Yeah, that's the exact reason we're actually on Layton today, because I feel like we're going to be spending a good bit of time on Silver Ridge Peaks in the next uh, week or so. So I figured we'd actually do something else for a little bit. But, um, uh. yeah. Friday's Twitch stream, we came to Layton, we shot a bunch of stuff. Elk and Blacktail was the focus of that one. We did get that melanistic moose, and I am now hoping to <laughs> smoke some big male respawns. Uh, exotic, thank you for the super chat, man. Hope you're having a good day. Hello, somebody. No bark. Uh, do you think Bondorf Lake will get fixed? What's broken about it? That is my first question. Can hear you in the music's fine? Cool. Alright, so... Glad to know that's working. What? I guess it's a little bit early. I decided to try to approach this lake from a different angle than we usually do. Because I think the elk drink on the far side of it. From this end, and that would be better. But I guess some stuff is still kind of sleepy. Getting up to head over there now, but... I think by the time we get there, the elk should be in their zones, and of course we're not looking for that elk zones, we're looking for the males. McHoley! That's gotta be an emote too. If we ever get Twitch Partner, the emotes that can come out of that. Uh, two minutes ago I shot a... 8.5 gold gears that should have been diamond? Yeah, I had one of those in my uh, nah. video, I think, two or three days ago. I'm kind of convinced they're just bugged. I don't think it's like a rounding error. I think they're just broken. Uh, Hunter Man Dan, thanks for the super chat. Going on a pronghorn hunt in a week? Where are you going, man? I assume that's probably going to be archery if it's in August, right? It's pretty cool, though. I may have forgot the stream was on YouTube and may have been waiting on Twitch before I realized. That's okay. No one saw it. Your Melanistic Moose is why I posted my lodge entrance in Discord. I'm trying to think if I saw that or not. I saw somebody that had a couple of Mies. Might have been yours. Oof, the stream was lagging a bit there. I don't think we dropped any frames or anything. Could have been just YouTube servers. Uh, what time is Silver Edge Peaks released tomorrow? I don't think there's a release time. A lot of times maps are early in the day, but I know consoles have been, like, closer to noon at times. Diamond gold variant wildebeest? That's awesome, man. I still want, like, a bighorns gold diamond wildebeest, because I got that one release day of Verhunga, and never again, especially not since Trophy Lodges. It's your boy back again from getting a third 169 white tail. You did not. <laughs> Did you actually have another one? I hope not. <laughs> um, Chris, thanks for the super chat, man. And the sticker. I appreciate you, man. Cody's in here with that golden gun. Been good, man. Hope you've been good as well. Killed my first squirrel. Tasted like rubber? Did you run it over? Squirrels tend to taste pretty good. Um, I think that's the zone I want to pay attention to, so... I try to go around from... An angle where we're not going to spook them. My favorite cereal. Oh goodness. Apple Jacks probably? I don't eat cereal very often. Apple Jacks are good though. There's nothing more annoying than a hen turkey call in classic. Sounds like a car that won't start. Well you say that. But if you're G-Boy 169.4. I'm so sorry man. <laughs> oh, If you're G-Boy the most annoying thing in classic is me following him blasting the turkey locator for 15 minutes. Even though I wasn't actually doing that, it was a bug. He just, I guess, <laughs> was assuming that I was trying to be funny. 
and didn't tell me about it. It's one of my all-time favorite moments because I knew what happened before he told me. What's up, Wolverine? Just got a diamond caribou? You know, I was thinking a couple of days ago, I don't think I have like a actual diamond caribou. I'm pretty sure my only diamond caribou are below the 430 requirement now. But that's awesome, man. They're cool. Have you heard a lion roar chasing something? Yeah, they have like a... More like a snarl, I feel like, but yeah. Can't wait for tomorrow. I think it's going to be interesting. Should be good to finally have console getting the uh, new map. Mule Deer True X, Bighorn should have some fixes. I'm hoping maybe they worked a moose fix into there. I don't know about that one yet. I shall certainly be paying attention to um, the trophy shots portion of Discord to see if anybody posts a diamond meese. And if there's several of them, I'll probably head out after them. Something. And not what we want. We did have no touch that diamond mallard in here, but not seeing any good response out of that. I know there's got to be bull elk over here somewhere. They should be. Goose or duck DLC? I would go with the goose. Ducks you can pretty easily hunt without the DLC. Geese, not so much. There we go. Okay, so there's some very not great looking elk over there. I think threes are as good as we're getting. So what's the highest estimate? Two that are the same. Three that are the same? That's a little bit weird. All right, now, oh, that's not the right gun. Wait a minute. Oh. Now, I think, hold up. Okay, that guy's one different. Anyway, I think if we shoot this lower one first, we can actually get two of them. I'm thinking the top ones won't spook from it. That was effective. And yeah, they're just going attentive. Maybe three? Is that too loud, by the way? Because now that my microphone audio is considerably louder, I assume the streams are probably watched a bit quieter, and I therefore have the game audio turned up. And I didn't see it peak super high, so let me know if the 300 sounds too loud. I'll turn down the in-game sound. Can't wait for the new app, but I feel like I've been waiting a year. I get that, yeah. That was a big delay. I mean, it's a... Uh, what, a unique circumstance? You know, everybody's working at home, so probably trying to scramble to fix stuff wasn't as easy. But that was a big delay. Do you use backpacks? No, and I would absolutely recommend against ever using a backpack, unless you're not planning on hunting. Like, if you want to move tents around and all that, wear a backpack. It'll make life easier, but they make so much noise. They spook animals from so far away. It's just not worth it. Like, it's nearly double the the distance that animals spook from it's just really not good i don't know why they made it that big a deal like i get the balance thing but maybe uh maybe a little less on that loud but not too loud going good can't hear that's probably not good buck up there but too much hunting pressure just found a piebald deer nice perfect sound is good. All right, we'll just leave it at that. Trying to work out like the balance of all that stuff is interesting when you can't actually hear it. And I could test it, but YouTube does weird stuff when you do like a live stream that's not published. It doesn't like to do that. So lucky double lung vertebrae, 237. I want to pay attention to what the trophy ratings on these are because I think I might have shot three that look the same. Hashtag nerf backpacks. I don't really feel they're needed, so I don't mind if they do anything to them or not. But it's, yeah. Would be nice if they fixed that. 235 on that one. That may have been the low estimate one. And 237.1. So they were different. It's just that <laughs> particular rack shape must have a lot of the same scores. But let's go ahead. Do I want to go... 
I don't think we had elk up here. I really want to focus on elk, so let's actually do... Eh. If I could fast travel to my tent, that would be nice. High Lake area. Uh, Cody, thanks for the super chat, man. Finally got that gold badge. Badgy boy. Boy badge. Goodness, I can't read. I've been good, man. Hope you've been good. Just been, you know, trying to pass the time till Mule Deer True Rex. Been playing a lot of classic, actually, lately. I do have a classic video planned. It was going to be tomorrow's video. And then I remembered tomorrow is True Rex Mule Deer. So, <laughs> gotta push that one back a little bit. A lot of you guys ready for Silver Ridge Peaks tomorrow? It's it's a good map. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I really hope they did, you know, a good job of matching the standard that they set on PC. Because other than the Bighorn, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good release. So I hope they, they did well for console as well. Is the 470 actually worth it for a bigger game? Love your channel. Well, thanks, man. Uh, I would say the 470 is not worth it. I would get this gun right here. 300. It's every bit as effective, and it's got the scope and more uh, species you can actually take with it. I just don't find the 470 to be that big a difference. Like, if it was... I don't know, maybe if it was really like a guaranteed kill on a Cape Buffalo if you made a long shot, then fine. But it doesn't seem any better than the 300 like maybe sometimes you get double lung but that's about it i guess i shouldn't have said guaranteed kill i should have said like guaranteed instant drop nearly but the wound time is similar uh oscar thanks for super chat man i don't do shout outs but i'll obviously uh say the name of anybody that's super chatting so i guess in that way yes anyone want to shoot bigger animals than flantro tonight in classic I'll tell you, I did the, um, what I'm trying to do is the last yeah. set of Summer Fiesta missions for videos. So the first one's Whitetail, you gotta get one over 170, and then the second one is a 200 plus Mule Deer and Logger's Point. And I want to do a video on all those. The Whitetail one took me forever, and I'm, I've shot like 4,000 Whitetail in that game. I should be somewhat familiar with Whitetail, and I could not even find a 170. So I'm a little worried about how the rest of those are gonna go. If you can get a 170 plus whitetail in less than a couple hours you've done better than me um christopher thanks for the super chat man i appreciate you no scope makes the 470 trash yeah and i mean even if it had a scope it can't zero out to 300 i can't imagine the bullet drop i think that's Jarrett's super chat coming in first you should play with fooster maybe someday We'll see if we can maybe get something like that to happen, but thanks for the super chat, man. What do you think about a map with alligators? I think a lot of people want it. And we may see something like that someday, just because of the amount of the community that does want, like, gators in the game, so... Like, I think it could be cool. I'm not sure they'd be that fun to hunt. Might be kind of like... What's something that you don't... Kind of like ducks I guess they're just sitting ducks oddly enough but then they can attack you if you don't see them I think it might be fun uh, then we got Seth and Justin with the super chats as well thank you guys and uh, how are you feeling after killing the great one it was a weird feeling because there was like obvious relief of I'm done with this grind that I've been spending several hours a day on for a month and a half obviously like just thrilled that I actually got one and then there was a little bit of weird sadness that it was done because I was enjoying that grind even though I was glad it was over they should add a swamp reserve what are your thoughts on that uh Rigaru Bayou on the Hunter Classic is a swamp reserve and I do like it I think that's something they could do a lot with in this game What are you referring to, Graham? You were raised by gators? Out of all people I have chosen you to watch the game on, well, I'm honored, man. Thank you. How many hours do you have on the Hunter? I just crossed 3,300. 
just uh, Saturday or Sunday across that number? My classic hours are still quite a bit higher, um, and I think there's a bunch of hours that aren't logged on Steam on the Hunter Classic, because I used to play just on the launcher, but combined between the two, it's probably 8,000 hours plus. Am I going to grind for another great one? I may very well do that, I just need proof that the other antlers are spawning properly. Because I think every legitimate great one that's been posted has been the same antlers as mine. But there are other antler variations if you've not seen those. Um, Dolomite, am I saying that right? Hopefully, thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks for the input. I've been using the 338, and if all the big guns are similar, I will use the in-game money for other things. That's what I would do. I would save it. Um, honestly, 338 is just fine. The only reason that I prefer the 300 is simply because it's got the four rounds, so you can get quick follow-ups, but... I mean, there's plenty of times where a follow-up's not doing you any good anyway. I don't know why I keep coming over here. There's never any bull elk till I go up here. So we'll do that. Must pronounce swamp as swamp. I bet that's not swamp, but I'm not sure how else I'm supposed to say that. Kill my first rare melanistic duck. Nice, dude. No big males. We actually dropped a lot of elk over here on the Twitch stream. Doesn't seem like these ones have respawned. So there's been a theory where it kind of seems like you don't get respawns until all the males in the herd have actually been shot. And I do wonder if that's what's going on. Because there should have been two more. There were definitely five at one point. So we'll at least try to get two if we can. We'll probably go for the two that are side by side there. That might have been too high. Not sure about the second one. Uh, where was that? Isaac, thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks for the consistently great content. And uh. finally got my big rack diamond mule deer yesterday. It was a common, not blonde, thankfully. Nice, dude. Those blonde ones are basically the common, so the common is actually rare. That's cool, man. Glad you got one. Hi. Why are you there? All right then. Got it right. My parents be be dem gators down in the Louisiana swamp. I knew it. Could smell it on you. I don't know what that means. Uh, Megan, thanks for the super chat as well. When does the new map come out for PS4? My son Jake can hardly wait for it. Tomorrow. Uh, not sure exactly when tomorrow, but yeah, um, within 24 hours, I would say easily. Probably like. It's usually between 7 a.m. and noonish Eastern Time. Something like that. My screen is fuzzy. That's kind of what happens on streams because it has to try to deal with a moving screen and uploading it and keeping it looking smooth. So sometimes that happens. Is anyone else's audio a couple seconds ahead of the video? Um, refresh the stream and see if that fixes it. But shouldn't be. Nothing's been changed in that way. Okay, so that's this one. Looking... Oh, I hit him. Wow. I guess he ducked in front of the other shot. Alright then. We'll come back and try to get the other two in a bit. Do I play Arma? I don't. Um, The only thing I know about Arma is... I, or comes from, I guess, watching Vector stream it, because he streamed it a couple of times. But no, nah, I've never played. Killed two max weight elk when elk were messed up. I'm not sure if I shot... I had a level 5 on my map when I was doing the white tail grind, but I don't think I actually ever shot any. Like, 5s that should have been diamond when they were messed up, but that's unfortunate, man. Tips on getting diamonds. Um, I need to make like an updated diamond guide. I keep forgetting to do that. But in general, like hunt around water, shoot all your males for respawns, and if you get bored of that, go to multiplayer. Is a 400 elk good? 400 is awesome, man. 
400 is kind of... In the Hunter Classic, that's the number to shoot for. A little more common in Call of the Wild, but still, it's a really big one. How do you get badges, like the gun badges? Those are the YouTube members, so there's a join button um, below your chat somewhere. And if you do that, I think it's the same as a Twitch sub, it's like $5 a month. You can get access to the special emojis. What's going on, Aaron? Um, you can get the badge, obviously, and there is a little, like, um, why can't I think of the word I want? There's a chat and stuff in Discord with the Discord rule that comes along with it if you link those two up. Wanted the hard shot, but probably a lung? Hopefully a lung. Not a lung. Missed both of those follow-ups, so we're probably gonna have to go put another shot in him, but we'll follow him for a minute. Need a Texas map with elk, whitetail, access to coyote and armadillos. Are there actually elk in Texas? I know they have them in Hunting Sim 2 and I was I was kind of confused because I'm not sure if there actually are. Maybe on ranches, but I don't think they're native. Imagine a great one duck. That would be spe uh, very special, to be honest. I don't know what they would do. The past three or four times, 2 to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, I just... A lot of times consoles a little bit later, so I'm not sure how likely it is they're going to end up being that early, but maybe. Uh. Yeah, he definitely didn't die. Uh, Dolomite, thanks again, man. Have you figured out if killing golds increases chances of diamond spawning, or is the respawn no longer a thing? Respawns are definitely still a thing. Um, I'm not sure if like the score of the animal that you shoot affects anything at all. Like, I do try to make sure I get the full score, so like when I was doing the whitetail grind, I used the proper weapon, I would go for long shots, you know, just in case it mattered. I don't have any evidence that it does matter, but I also have no evidence that it doesn't. So, I would try. They roam wild? Okay. Moose in Texas? Yes. I don't know what Cabela's game you're talking about, but sure. Great one, Red Deer. That's one that I'm excited about, though I don't know what more they can do. Look at how big they are now. Gonna get insane. Shot a troll level 3 piebald whitetail. Oh no. That's a big sad. Mallard hybrid. There you go. I'm not sure how that becomes a great one, truly. I feel like there has to be more to it. A great one duck would have longer feathers than a normal duck, but you couldn't tell. Exactly. Perfect. That means you literally just have to spam every duck you find until you get one. And you will never know because they're just level 3. Big Game Hunter 2012? Well, I would have played it, but I don't remember Moose in Texas. Is the Argus scope worth 36k? I think it is. Personally, like, the zoom that it gives you for longer shots... I think makes it worth it. I mean, I don't ever use the Hyperion anymore. I only use the Argus, but... Yeah, I just like that ability to get in closer on those, like, 300 meter shots. 69 main beans for a great boy red deer. There you go. Perfect. Great one reindeer should fly. They need to do great one reindeer and caribou. And then... Give them, like, proper paddles and really wide antlers and everything. I think those could look really, really cool. Where is this guy? There's no way he actually walked back. So did he turn and flee here again? I think. Yeah. Just need to figure out where he actually went, then we'll be okay. I think uh. this is the new stuff, so he'll probably come back and give us a shot. 
Um, Father Son Outdoors, thanks for the super chat, man. Much appreciated. Is there a ranch with alligators and moose in Texas? Are you saying this is in the game? I kind of remember the gators. Did they do some kind of roll thing or something? It's sounding more and more familiar. Great one, Moose. There's a lot they could do with them, too. They get quite huge as well to begin with, too, though, so... It would be interesting. I think Great One Elk will be really cool. Drop times and stuff with them. I'm doing a goose comp. I shall win because honk. Just the right attitude. I'll give you that. You find the Argus to be too hard for follow-up shots? I will say it's definitely more difficult, and you'll notice I zoom out a lot when I, like, am planning on taking a follow-up shot. I don't know, it's it's the balance thing. Depends on what you want. What's up, Kyla? Just got my first gold lion yesterday. Nice, dude. Where in PA are you from? My house. Like, uh, West Central. Is that a thing? No. I'm glad it's insanely foggy. He didn't die, so he's up here. Let's just stay here a minute. Because it did seem he wanted to get back. Um, Wyo, thanks so much for the super chat, man. Got my first diamond, uh, thousand score links after 180 hours. Nice, dude. Felt good tracking him and laying down on a rock to take him out. That's really cool, man. The links are actually really neat. I like them. I still need to get on the links grind and try to get a rare female one for that multi mount. Would say maybe you should work on the same if you have a big male diamond one for the other half. What's up, all the above? I will get my first diamond today because I'm watching my favorite YouTuber stream. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. There's one out there waiting for you. I don't feel like he can really get past me without me seeing as long as I'm like halfway paying attention. In the West Central PA hood. Neighborhood or just... I don't know what you're getting at. What are you trying to say about where I live? Rare elk? Nah, just one that I tried to shoot at 300 meters and... For some reason, every now and then, with any weapon that I use, I don't reach the heart on those frontal shots. And I just wanted to get him for respawns, because it's been a consistent area where fairly good-sized elk are spawning. It's right there at that zone. And I just wanted to get him, but... No cooperato. Gonna have to move up here, I think. I mean, he could be coming back down. Maybe I'll crouch until I at least figure out what he's doing. But I'm pretty convinced he's not gonna die. Can only do one comp in multiplayer? They should have put that in the fine print. No, you can do uh. unlimited amounts. What do you mean? You can do as many as you want. Using a spoon for huckleberry smoothie because it is too thick. You know, I didn't get any huckleberry stuff when I was up there. It, they literally sell so much huckleberry everything, and I didn't get any of it. That was a mistake. Um, Hayden and Jaden Adventures, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Release time for a PS4? We don't know release time, but would guess like mornings, early afternoon. Hi. This area is really nice. I'd like to maybe try to find feed zones up here and hunt in that area. Uh, is a mountainistic bison rare? It's pretty rare, yeah. You don't see a lot of them. Got three different diamond ibex in one server about in about a half hour yesterday. Sounds like a pretty good server. Alright, what are we doing? I'm a little worried that he's still running. I think it might be bugged. Because he should have slowed down by now. We'll take a look, though. 
Huckleberries are life. I guess I'll have to find out next time. Uh, Jacob, thanks for the super chat, man. Do you have any guides for mule deer on parquet? I don't actually. Um, I believe someone in the community did one, and that's why I didn't do it. I think. I mean, I sort of have a guide. I'm not sure how in depth I got, but I did show like when I was grinding for a diamond mule deer on parquet. I definitely showed some stuff. But yeah, I don't really have a proper guide. I don't know what this guy's doing, but we're gonna head off to some other areas. What's my biggest diamond? I mean, I guess if my great one counts, then it would be that. Should whitetail models be redone? Maybe Coyote Classic has better models. Yeah, I would agree. Like, the textures are better in Call of the Wild, the fur and everything. But the whitetail models, the heads, like the faces in particular, are like a little bit too fat. I think Classic has the general like proportions more accurate. Coyotes, I, I don't mind them. They look like scruffy little, I don't know, small coyotes. But one, the fact that a level one coyote that weighs... 30 pounds is the same size as a level 9 coyote that weighs 60 pounds. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I feel like that should be maybe like addressed somehow. All of the above is a guide. You are correct. The biggest male co uh, of Call of the Wild guide. I don't know what I just tried to say. The biggest male Call of the Wild. No of. What's my farthest bow shot? Uh... I think 200 meters with the recurve on a black bear on Twitch. I'm pretty sure that's the longest bow shot I've taken. Can you get two great ones? Yes, I think someone already has. I have no proof that it's legit, but I believe someone's done it. The coyotes out there are small and scruffy. Yeah. Do you think you can hunt black bear? I live in PA too. Do you mean in game or in real life? I've never hunted black bear in real life, actually. I have a lot of friends that do it, but I've never been super interested in them. So once again, I know there was an elk at the far end, so we're going to be careful to not spook that. But this spot where we killed the max weight diamond one, where there were five elk has nothing. I don't know where they moved to. Seven mil is the best gun? I can agree with you on that. I don't have it today because I brought the M1. If we can drop several blacktail in the same area, that would be good for respawns. But seven mil is just, it's so versatile. Everything from deer, mouflon, I think Mouflon would be the smallest animal as far as weight goes, all the way up to Cape Buffalo and stuff. The only thing technically more versatile is the 9.3, and even that has limitations with the zeroing range and stuff. Okay, so like I said, there was a bull elk over here last time, and I know we didn't kill it. I don't know where he drink exactly. Now I do. And is she in my way? There's another one. Well, in that case, try to pull him out of there. Meant in real life about the black bear? I don't think I'm going to be hunting them anytime soon. I'm not a big fan of the way black bears are usually hunted in PA. It tends to be, you know, drives with... Huh, same antlers again. Uh, drives with, like, Far too many people taking shots at everything that moves that slightly resemble, resembles a black bear. I just don't... I would say baiting is more ethical than that in my mind, so... Maybe someday if I can hunt them, like, spring black bear in, say, British Columbia, or... Something like that I would do. But I don't think I'd hunt them here. 
Right there. Thanks, Aaron. Didn't see it till you pointed that out. Sure is good to have you here. I know there was a smaller one. I'm sure that I saw one with smaller antlers, but I think at this range, they're going to spook immediately. I don't know that we can get them both, but we'll try. That guy dropped, and that's a long shot, so that'll work. He was going to try to flee pretty quick, but luckily the recoil helped us on that one. Is the 44 worth it? Honestly, the 454 is needed for some missions, I believe. And you're going to need to get the 44 to get to the 454 and unlock it. It's not such an overpowered, amazing weapon as it used to be, to where I would say it's worth it. That's even the 454. The 44 is great. Like, it's a good weapon, but... <laughs> There's no really good reason to have it other than missions. So if you don't intend on doing missions ever, I wouldn't worry about it. Baiting animals is ethical, but if the game warden asks, we don't have corn and <laughs> duck cool. Oh my. See, the weird thing about baiting, too, is that even if you're not hunting bait, a lot of times you're hunting food sources anyway. Now I realize it's a little more challenging to hunt like a natural food source you know you have to move in on something they already travel and the deer or whatever you're hunting sees the stand that's put there the blind or whatever whereas with bait the blind is there and then you put the bait down a lot of the times <laughs> anyway um it's just different i guess when you place the food there but yeah i mean if you're doing the bear drives that are done here so often where there's just like a dozen guys firing shots at the first bear that runs through I think you're better off baiting them uh, again our thanks for the super chat man got a diamond with 198.2 198 seems to be a really common score for them I don't know what the deal with that is but nice man blood and alcohol nice dude that makes actually a pretty big difference with them because a lot of times you'll get that's actually what I want um actually he's not the high weight he's just the high score but anyway get him for respawns uh you'll get elk that you want to call out from like behind another elk or something and having that color is really useful my friend is a bait pal you can see on google maps that is 12 out of 12 brilliant See, it just... I complained about it last time when we got a Melanistic Moose right after it, so maybe I should complain about it again. There were so many big elk right when they fixed them, and now they're all level 3s again. The good news is at least the level 3s look good. Well, look big. But, I don't know. They just seem to have so many fours right at the the point where they fixed it and I was super excited to hunt elk again because like that's the thing you want to see is the big beams and everything but then when most of them actually aren't that it feels a little bit lame but the more of those we can get for response the better of course when I enter a comp geese don't break that's the flock that has all the um, 8900s in it. You don't want that flock anyway. That would make you win too easy. You want to be a little more broadside? That was marginal at best. Probably vertebrae? Speed up the process. Sorry for the chorus of 300 shots, but <laughs> they all got to go down. I got to... Diamond lion, dark brown, and a blonde lion? Wait, hold on. Are you saying you got a diamond lion that was also dark brown fur type? Or are you saying you got a diamond, a dark brown, and a blonde, all separate lions? Very intrigued. I saw somebody shot a dark brown female lion. <laughs> um, They really are not obvious. I feel like I've probably passed on those before. 
And I'm at a point where I'm grinding for them and shooting all the females on my own map, but I would probably say that I've passed a dark brown female in multiplayer at some point. Um, Cannon, thanks for the super chat. You didn't read my other super chat? I'm sorry, man. I did not realize that I missed one, so sorry about that, man. Um, isn't Silver Ridge Peaks coming out tomorrow on PS4? It is, yeah. Uh, on both PS4 and Xbox. There's gonna be Silver Ridge Peaks, True Rack, Mule Deer, all that stuff uh, being released. Not a fan of most antler configurations for the Roosevelt's. Yeah, they're not great, but... I mean, the biggest reason that I've been hunting them lately is I want to fill the big plaques in the Trophy Lodge. And I mainly want moose, but they're, like, impossible to get diamonds of, so I've been hunting these guys instead. Alright, one chance to drop them. Never mind. <laughs> that dropped down quicker than I thought it would. I was going to go for a next shot. Got a 395 elk on my bear grind? Nice, dude. I think 395 would be the rack shape that I want because I actually don't like the big rack ones but I'm not sure it's right on the edge just normal diamond okay that's still cool man I haven't had a rare lion in a while is that I can't remember I think I shot that right when I got back from Utah last time or... No, it was on a Sunday highlight, so it was, was in the last, like, month or two. Uh, hosting multiplayer today? Probably not today. Just kind of running around late and trying to smoke things for respawns. It's a little easier to, you know, be able to control the time and everything. Nothing too good yet, McLovin. How have you been lately, though? What map do you recommend buying first? I would go with... I mean, Silver Ridge Peaks is a great option if you don't have that one yet. Is that my other elk? Sounds heavy enough. Nope, is a deer. And... maybe. What are you doing? Didn't reach the lung. Probably didn't need to lead him at all at that range. Not sure if that was good enough either. Is Call the Wild cross platform? Unfortunately, no. Um, you can only play with people that play on the same platform as you do. Was hunting wolves and shot what I thought was an egg white, but it was actually a diamond albino? That's a nice surprise. Can't say I've seen too many of those posted. Where is... Is this it? Yeah. Quattro and Silver Ridge equal best money maps? I mean Hirschfeld, if you count geese, though. The deer on my Leighton don't seem to respawn. I've had a lot of people tell me that they feel like they don't get respawns, so I'm not sure whether there is some kind of bug, or if there's a lot of people that maybe don't quite understand what respawns are, or how they work, or what to look for. When you say they don't respawn, are you saying that it just feels like your deer population is being whittled down slowly to nothing? Hi. Is that... That is the same zone. And that's the same antlers, but not the same elk. That's the same zone as the one where we shot that guy and tracked him for a while and didn't find him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it would have been. We'll get this one. And if we're fast... That one. What I don't see is a fleeing wounded one. can't imagine where he got to. I know he wanted to get back. And I... He had the crazy fleeing tracks, but I expected fast traveling to maybe fix that. Excited for pronghorn? They're a really cool species. They have a lot of uh, different horn variations. They look good. 
McNugget eats me. Eats you? What? Oh, it's starting to teeth a little. No teeth yet. Just his teeth moving to start pushing up. Sounds like a fun phase. Rosebud elk are also called Olympic elk. I'm willing to hear the explanation of why. <laughs> Sounds interesting to me. Any big males yet? Uh, nothing better than a level 3 elk, if I'm remembering correctly. Got a lot of elk hunting. Something's moving through there. A lot of elk hunting yet to do, and... I mean, plenty of places that we haven't um, actually gotten to yet, where we shot them last time. So I'm hoping that we can maybe get a good respawn. They've been kind to me fairly often on Layton, so see if they decide to be nice again. But that's a bull, actually. Never mind. That's the one. I found him. <laughs> I need to shoot to. I forgot he was different antlers. I think we got him. Would say so. By got him, I mean hit him in the lungs, not just <laughs> did enough to kill him. Need two more kills and you have a UAV? I don't know what that means, but uh, the explanation as to why is in the message, because I know nothing about Call of Duty. I think the last one I actually played was literally Call of Duty 2. Which I liked, but, you know, that was forever ago. Did I claim that duck? I totally didn't. Like I said, it wasn't one of the ones that I actually could make diamond because he had a low weight. So you see this one is 1 to 2 kilos and 17 to 21 score estimate. The last one had the 17 to 21, but the weight estimate didn't go up to 2, so we couldn't have actually been a diamond. But I totally forgot about that. What's going on, Will? Welcome to the stream, man. M1 is semi-automatic. That is forbidden. Uh, that's actually the case here in PA. You cannot use a semi-automatic weapon for deer hunting. You can use it for turkey. You can use it for, I think, everything else. Bear, probably not. Wait. Bodyguard? Hit the wrong one. Do you think that console will get some sort of discount? I hope they do something. But I honestly have no idea, you know. It's all up to what EW has planned. I see the cool things you be killing on Classic. One of them is not in a video. It's the ugliest one of the most recent four. Wait. Okay, that's exactly what I was just talking about. It's a different duck, but it's got the low weight high score. Might as well get him though. And can we reach? We can. I didn't claim it. Yeah, that's okay. We'll survive without him. Come here. Small male. No bodyguard. Did I actually just shoot bad? I could have. I don't know. I felt like I was lined up appropriately to hit that one. And then for this... Yeah, just... No penetration. I guess maybe it's up through the neck here and that's what slowed it down so much? Wait a minute, what? I don't know if it's going out of render, but it actually is confused there. It's showing them backwards. I'm gonna... Try to remember... What are we at? 50 minutes into the stream? I'm gonna try to remember to point that out to... Somebody... TK or whoever, and they can maybe take a look at that. I've never noticed that. Also, that bird's very loud. <laughs> it needs to go away. Uh, what weapons do you carry with you at all times? If I were to do a loadout that's going to cover everything on every map, I would go 307 mil, 243, 22. The 300 technically in that loadout is not necessary, but it's really nice to have something for... Okay, buffalo, water buffalo that's a little more power than the 7 mil brings. I would bring it if, uh, if you have the ability to. Can geese land without decoys? They will land. Um, it's really rare, though. 
I'm not sure that the collar has anything to do with it. The heck? Okay. Because they live in mass in the Olympic Mountain Range of Washington State. Okay. That makes sense then. So once again, we killed a bunch over here. There's one there. I bet there's a bunch and they're just hiding. That or... If I remember right, we did kill four. So it could be that thing that I keep mentioning where... Uh, you kind of have to kill all the males in a herd to get the respawns. Let's say it's one of the two. Where was he at? Right there. So... Let's just get him and see if any bulls come running out of there. Probably gonna be... No, it's a long. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that I shoot too high on some of those hard shots. And even though the angle's right, it's going through so much neck, flesh, and stuff that it doesn't reach. That's probably it. Uh, do you ever get the bug where you can't see tracks after a while? I'm not sure about a bug where I can't see them after a while. I know there's areas where tracks just won't show up. And occasionally, like, animals, if you change the time or whatever, their tracks will just suddenly end. Like, they just stop. They don't really end. It's more like they... Uh, they sort of warp to another location. And their tracks do weird stuff. They should add drop tines to the mule deer and whitetail species. They could do drop tines on pretty much any of the uh, antlered true rack animals. I think that would be pretty neat. Um, we might skip this lake because it just hasn't been that great for me. And we have a couple of minutes. Let's just do this spot. What's going on, Ben Ben? Today I tracked a Canadian goose. I saw its tracks for the first time. I've seen them randomly. A lot of times it's like in Spreeberg Forest and the weirdest places where there shouldn't be geese landing. But yeah, from time to time they land and leave tracks. Still halfway checking for big male duck response. I think there was a bull elk down in that corner that we spooked actually and I said that I'd go around this side. So we'll try it that way. See, I usually don't stream the same thing kind of back to back like this. And I'm kind of liking it because I'm remembering the things that I said I would do differently. When will you swear? I swear that it'll be sometime in the future. How's that? Best lake on the map? Is that a question? Or are you saying this is it? Would say it definitely could be considered it, because it's got a lot of everything. Where is that bull elk? I'm almost certain we didn't shoot it. Unless it was the one we killed up at that other lake? On Friday, I feel like that one got away. Uh, best advice for goose hunting? I've got a goose guy that I'd recommend checking out. A um, couple of locations that are really good. I sort of talk about the way that I try to call and work with all that. What's going on, Billy? Can you take a screenshot of my inventory? Yeah, you can. Just leave it up there for a second. I've been shooting so many gold and silver mallards hoping for a three. Yeah, I'm hoping one respawns one of these days as well. I haven't tried too hard to get one because, to be honest, usually I don't feel like waiting for them to float in if I shoot them over the water. That's the guy we're looking for. But, yeah, every now and then when I get the chance I try to smoke one and slowly work on those respawns. Alright, so that's that. Uh, it's pretty well the end of their drink time. 
What I think we'll do is hop up here and try to grab a blacktail really quick, because they should still be there. And then we'll probably go ahead and change the time back to five-ish. They need another map with whitetail. I would not be opposed to that. I think that would be okay. I mean, geez, we got three with red deer, three with moose. Uh, is there any other that have three? There's three different rabbit species, three different duck species. Black bear now on two. There's three, sort of three maps with bison if you uh, count the euro bison. Roe deer on two. I think those are the only two species that have three different maps. Uh, what did you do to get your diamond Roosevelt elk? I've been after one since 2018. Um, I mean, I just, I was pretty much grinding for one by shooting all the bull elk I have on my map and doing that over and over till one came back as a five. It's pretty much as simple as that. I know it sounds probably oversimplified. Yeah, that wasn't a word. Oversimplified and boring, but that's kind of the way. You just gotta drop all the males on your map and keep doing that. What's the best elk? Um, I guess between the two, Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, Ben Ben, thanks for the super chat, man. Good to see you as always. Hope you're having a good day. Let's go ahead and make that little jump up here. I keep shooting Blacktail here too for eventually respawns, hopefully being big male diamond because I only have the small rack. But yeah, when I say Blacktail and Elk Hunt, it's like 95% elk and blacktail when I happen to see one. But we have twos, more twos, and a three. Okay. And you. I think if they stayed close together. Yeah, we should be able to get both of these. Was that. Okay, that's a doe. That's a doe. That's actually a better three, I think. Eh, same size. Well. Can I get a shot? I bet I can get a long shot. When he has his head up, that feels doable, so we'll try that. And then swing up and get that guy if we can. That one's definitely smoked, and yeah, that guy went down quick, too. Nice, and I'm pretty sure the lake's big enough that we didn't delete any zones. There's technically tier 4 pressure right here, but no zones there to delete as far as I know. Um, Jeremiah, thanks so much for the super chat, man. Thanks for being a great humble guy. Keep it up. I'll definitely do my best, man. I appreciate you. That means more than you probably realize. Uh, do a real-life squirrel hunting video? I may do that at some point. See, the thing with squirrel hunting and trying to film it is you basically have to have some, like, cameraman or somebody to basically run the camera. I, I don't know why I tried to come up with another word. You need a cameraman. Because there's, there's so much movement and stuff. Trying to self-film that, it would at the very least be a really big pain. I thought he was just moving around, but he's actually walking away, so we'll just let him go. Have the 200 meter air gun shot down. Now all I need is a great one. Wait, are you going to shoot it at 200 meters? I knew you had these air gun plans, but I was not aware of the range. I will, if you record that, I don't know if that's your plan. I will share that on the community tab. Do I have a girlfriend? I do. She's, I think at work right now. But a lot of times she's here in chat. No more ice fishing hut? You broke it. That's big sad. I've never been ice fishing. I feel like it's a less fun form of fishing, but a lot of people love it, so maybe I'm missing out. Sorry I was doing homework. Did I miss anything? Um... I think the closest thing was a big level 2 duck. <laughs> Hasn't been too special, but it's kind of just been a respawn fest at the moment. 
I don't know if we're over 20 kills yet, but I bet we're close. Yeah. So, I mean, 20 kills in an hour is pretty solid. Over 20. And we'll just continue getting Elk and Blacktail for the rest of this, hopefully. Gonna go all in with the 200. I gotta admire the bravery. I'll give you that. Decent Moose in Classic, 179. That's not bad, man. Probably no recordings. So there's no commentary. That's fair enough. Need a friend for filming? I think my brother would actually do it, to be honest. Because we used to... Like, when we were younger, we would try to do like film taunts and stuff we were obviously too young to really do anything we had like a some kind of really tiny terrible camcorder thing but he used to always enjoy trying to do filming stuff so i think he would probably do it but i don't know he also doesn't have as much time as he used to anyway we need somewhere that's going to take us a little bit of time to run to do i have any more the zones disappears i don't know why i look I guess I don't have any more elk zones up through that part of Calburn. Let's just go down to Balmall Lake, because that can take a little bit of time. Just want to let things move into their zones before I go to the good spots. Oh, I got you, McLovin. Is that what you were just doing? You were just uh, making a quick sale. Uh, what do you think about the muzzleloader? I think a couple of things, actually. It's almost as if you uh, knew to ask that question, but I can promise you didn't. I think the muzzleloader is really cool. I like it a lot. Um, it's not a weapon that I would say is like better than the 7mm or something that should replace one of the main inventory weapons. But it's so much fun to use. There's something about, like, you know you only have one shot. It is crazy powerful. And the smoke effect, they just nailed it. I won't say anything about what it is. But there's a video scheduled for the very end of the stream, right at 5 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. And I may or may not be using the muzzleloader. And you guys can probably infer what it might be, considering the time that that video is coming up. But, yeah. Um, funny you asked that question. Shot a diamond piebald warthog? Um, I don't think warthogs can be piebald. I got you, Kyla. My favorite diamond? Favorite that I've shot? If the Great One counts as a diamond, it's gotta be that. If not, probably the Piebald Diamond Whitetail. And the only reason I prefer the Piebald over the Albino is it was a level 3. My Albino Diamond Moose is really good. Um... The albino diamond water buffalo was quite intense. Because it had to be a brain shot. I think I only had the 7 mil for that, if I remember right. And... Yeah, I mean, there's been other ones, the Thousand Coyote. I'm sure there's ones that I'm forgetting. But... Would say, like, if you ignore circumstances, just like the animal itself. The great one in the piebald diamond are top two. Do you ever shoot a troll level 5 blacktail? I shot one in a video in the last month or two, I would say. It was like one off, I think. can tell you where it was. It was multiplayer right in like the part of the land that comes into the lake here. Check out the side shot scope cam. Works with your phone. So I've got um, a Tacticam, and I want to get probably a GoPro for some stuff. I need to figure out still trying to work with the Tacticam on my bow, because I want to have a proper stabilizer, and using just the Tacticam is not ideal. But, um, I think you're talking about for the squirrel hunting stuff. I feel like a phone's not going to have enough zoom to really see a tiny squirrel. Maybe it would. Favorite animal to hunt and why? Mine's coyotes because of my experience it's really hard to find or track them. That's a question that I probably never answer exactly the same. I like the wolves because of their AI. You know, it's being 
pretty unique from everything else in the game. White tail because I hunt them in real life. Um, reindeer are one of my favorite models in the game, actually. Them along with mountain goat. But probably, like, if you're asking just my favorite animal to actually hunt, I would say wolves. I enjoy that a lot. Shut a diamond piebald harlequin. That's actually really cool. I think the rare diamond harlequin ducks are actually really, really neat. I know a couple of people that have melanistic diamonds, and I've seen some piebalds posted here and there. I'd like to get one. I had a seven scoring piebald once, which is close-ish. I think that's the coolest duck species you can get a rare diamond of. Anyway, we gave them some time to move into their zone. Let's go over here where we shot the melanistic moose. Where did you get your diamond elk? The only one I've gotten, I think at all on the new scoring system, was this little lake here, kind of the border of Norden and Chila. It was actually in the Norden side. We all know Tree Kiwi spawns my diamonds. Yes, the community manager who has so much power over the uh, code. He also, oh Jesus, sorry. He also spawns my great ones. Get my coaster so I don't do that again. Guess that's what happens when you have a metal bottle. Eh, trying to do think two things at once is not working. Are pronghorn all that you hoped? To be honest, yeah. Um, The diamonds look really good. I like them a lot. <laughs> the rares are cool. I wish there was a melon stick, but you know. Is what it is. What's going on, Redneck Jay? Been a while since I caught a stream. Did I miss anything? Nothing so far today. Good to see you again, though. What rifles would you suggest at the beginning? Uh, if you want to buy a DLC, I would grab the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack. That'll get you the M1, which I carry all the time. That'll get you the 10 gauge shotgun, which is easily the best for geese. So if you ever do a money grind with geese, you're going to be all set there. And the muzzleloader that we've been talking about, which is just... It's a really good gun, honestly. Starting out, you're, it's a good big game gun. But in general, it's just a fun one. Best trophy lodge is definitely Saseka Safari. There's more plaques. There's bigger platforms for the uh, massive multi-mounts. Uh, in general, I like the look of it better. The Spring Creek Manor feels a little bit almost outdated in a weird way. Would definitely go with the Safari one. What community for the hunter are you in? I'm not sure what you mean by that. This one. <laughs> I don't know. Shoost. How many months are you actually? Because you gotta be a lot. Oh, it doesn't show me now. That's annoying. I used to be able to, like, just scroll my mouse over and look. It should tell you, but it doesn't tell me because for some reason Streamlabs doesn't sign you into your own chat, so I can't do things. Makes me very sad. That's an elk that I don't usually see. I don't remember having a zone there. So I definitely want to see if I can get his track because he, he did the drinking motion as he stood up there. So they should actually be able to drink. That's not what I meant. They should be drinking there. Um, we should be able to get the zone. I was reading Chad, I'm sorry. Hunting screen books? I think I'm not fully understanding. What is that? Coyote? Oh yeah. Where'd they go? I know there's, yeah, that guy. It's actually a decent one, so we'll take him for response. Is delay? Oof. What spot did I get my great one? That was... Are they coming back? I think they're just running ahead of me. That was literally, I think, at this tripod. The zone's not showing up, but it should be like this little curve here. What time did I get my diamond elk? It was 
I think I had just did a time reset, so like 5.30, 6 a.m. I live in PA and I can't wait for bow season. Dude, I'm super excited for that again. Been watching a good bit of Midwest Whitetail, actually. Finishing up the season four of Chasing November because I didn't watch it last fall for some reason. I'm... It's the time of year where it cannot come fast enough. What was that? Okay, that's just a four. Not as big as I thought it was. Uh, when am I going live in the Hunter Classic? I'm not sure. Hopefully, maybe this week sometime. It's going to depend, though, because with True Rack Mule Deer, I feel like that's going to take a lot of my time. Is geese hunting or normal hunting what generates the most money? Geese hunting can definitely generate more money like in say an hour or two hours or whatever than normal hunting but for me geese hunting gets boring so like the majority of my money is definitely earned through normal hunting like probably like 80 percent but the geese hunting you can just you can make so much money so fast last fall you're saying i watched a good chunk i watched like up to episode 10 maybe Is that like a a difficulty you're having, G-Man? Can't speedrun it. Is tomorrow the release date for console? It is, yes. Silver Ridge Peaks and True Act Mule Deer. You slacker. I sent you the does with white feet, did I? That looks oddly decent. I thought that might have been the five rack for a second. First four of the hunt, though. That's a little bit sad. Not a very good looking one. But at least probably we should shoot the level three first because of the angles. Then we'll try to get him too. And I may go kind of like high neck. And if I miss that, we'll go for long. Definitely missed what I wanted. Reached back into a lung, though, so it worked. Been here four hours, almost halfway done. Oh, goodness. So, literally, from the looks of it, you're going to be going past quitting time to finish that one. That sounds fun. Well, thanks for checking in, though. I appreciate that. And, Craig, I appreciate the super chat, man. Do you think they'll add ARs? Uh, maybe. I mean, we have some semi-auto rifles in Classic, the 223. Is the 7mm... Or the 7mm08? I'm trying to think. Is it bolt action or semi? I just used it and I can't remember. Well, either way. The 223s are there. Um, goodness, Redneck Jay, thanks so much for the super chat, man. Many too generous supports, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you so much, dude. Too busy getting my cheeks clapped by classic. Clapsic. That was bad, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have tried. Saw a video, 10 fabled great one reindeer. Is that real? It's real, but it's bugged. Um... Caribou could do it, and Reindeer could do it. I think the true racks for them, the scores they were reaching were actually above what, like, the maximum value should have been. And <laughs> when you had that, the game sort of defaulted to Legacy racks for some reason. So Caribou didn't have that, and it crashed the game if you tried to claim one. Reindeer got the old Diamond Rack, and you could, uh actually claim it and it would say it was a great one but it wasn't actually a great one like that was a bug it was just a normal diamond spawn that said great one because of the score um Jared thanks for the super chat as well man would she like more legacy Rosie or the I guess true rack Rockies 
The Rockies, the brow tines were there. The legacy rosies were missing brow tine length. They did a really good job with the Rockies. I'm happy with them. I was gonna make a Instagram post, but I, I ended up not doing it. Comparing the like 280-ish elk that I saw in Yellowstone with just a normal level four gold of the Rockies in Silver Ridge Peaks. Pretty dang similar. They did good. You just went back in our conversation that far, Aaron, to find that out. I'm proud of you. I'm glad we know the answer. Since I missed a lot of streams, so I made up for it. Keep doing you. You're awesome. Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. One giant buck with spikes barely larger than his ears. Holy. Shooter. Twelve and a half years old. That's what he is, Aaron. He's really old. He's so old that he can't grow antlers anymore, but it's a big, mature male. You should go for it. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's an elk stone here we should go to. Oh my god. That's a new one, G-Man. I haven't seen that one before. Glad you finally got that, though. I think I made the bison in Classico extincts. I hunted them, and now they're not spawning. It's kind of what it felt like when I was trying to get a rare one, which I never did. I'd hunt them so hard that they wouldn't show up. You try saying Flinter and autocorrects to Fainter. There's a ton of autocorrects from my name. There's a Glitter. Clinger's a good one. Uh, yeah, Fainter's fairly common. There's another one that I'm trying to... What is the one that I'm trying to think of? I can't even think of one of the more common ones. Glinter, I think? I don't even know what that is. Something that glints. I hope that got along. It did, but he turned really re weird right as we shot. Naturally, there were more in there. Wow. There he is. Our diamond elk. And now he's dead. Uh, fishy fish, thanks for the super jam, man. Got my first diamond, it was an Iberian wolf. They're actually cool, man. They got a lot of cool colors. Nice, dude. It's a pretty cool first. Gee, don't, don't do it. It's bad. My first diamond was a common fur type max score mule deer. Funny enough, the common fur type is not really the common with them, so it's slightly like a fur type diamond of almost any other species. That's cool, man. Aim lower. No you. Flinger, that makes sense. I feel like that's a word. Trophy elk right there. Holy. Haven't done that since 2014. I believe it. I'm going to try to record doing that, like, maybe tonight before Turex. Mule deer, we'll see. Big mail. Need to get that Mickey moat. Mick Big Mail. My sketchiest shot on a diamond? Let's see. The recurve one where I hit the mule deer in the jaw was pretty sketchy. I uh, shot a blacktail buck in the neck, like this um, elk that I just got, like while it was running away. I've done that twice, actually. Mm. Actually, this wasn't a neck, it was brain, but brain shots were allowed back then, so it was less sketchy. Trying to think of some really dumb ones that I've done that have worked. Because I know there's been plenty of times where I've taken a shot and it has worked. And I've been like, okay, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I did. My, uh... My Thousand Whitetail, actually. I shot him in the neck for some reason. Like, it was a decent shot to take, but... There is no good reason for me to do that. I absolutely should have waited. 
and max at 180 and you thought it wasn't going to make 170. The one, the, the one that I got was the same. Although I knew it was going to make it or I was pretty sure. Okay. Uh, did we try... We've been up here a couple of times. I think I do have a herd of bulls up here. So we'll give that a shot. Got an albino silver bighorn today. The albino bighorn seem actually legitimately rare. That's really cool. Spotted a five medium moose. You'll need that luck to be with you. It seems like a lot of those are trolls, but hopefully you get it. Does zero percent quick kill bonus lose the diamond? Um, it used to. Now that's not a thing. So. The way to get a diamond now, obviously you have to have a trophy rating that's high enough, which it's listed in the harvest screen of any animal you take, like the requirements. And then there's four harvest checks. Those are vital hit, which just is lungs, liver, neck, brain counts, but don't go for brain, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, nah. Or heart, obviously. And um, Gabe, thanks for the super chat. If the next map is Australia and they need to add crocs, just think of the multi-mounts. That could actually be cool. We're all by no one, yeah. You could do some cool multi-mounts with that. That's a good point. Uh, what did I miss on Truax? Is there an update for PC? They should be out tomorrow, man. Looking forward to that. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's the vital hit bonus. There is the proper ammo, which you can really easily figure that out. So if we look at the ammo... You can see the recommended classes there in the bottom right, so 223 is 2 to 4, 270 is 4 to 8, uh, 379, so all those are listed, and the animal class itself is listed when you spot it in the top right of your spotting, as well as in the codex. So we're going for elk, so let's go to Roosevelt elk. They are class 8, so we need, say that, 300, which is 7 to 9, so 8's obviously within that, so we're good there. Uh, next one is two shots or less. So basically, you cannot shoot the animal more than twice, or you'll lose the uh, check there. There's our herd of bulls. Looks like small males. Might be another one that I can't see. And the last harvest check that I haven't mentioned, I'm trying to remember which three I said. I said the <laughs> ammo, vital... Oh, the trophy organs. That's why you can't go for brains. So almost every species, the trophy organs is like antlers or something in the skull. And you can't damage the trophy organs. So I'll actually, um, I'll just show you what it says for one of these elk. I'm going to try to drop two of them just for respawns. Would probably make the most sense to drop the two, but if this guy doesn't drop immediately, it's going to be tough. Had to go a different direction with that because we didn't get the hard shot, but those two will die. Uh, Tyler, thanks so much for the super chat, man. Thanks for all the great content. You're my favorite streamer. Well, thanks, dude. Uh, what animals can't make diamond right now? I think everything can make diamond. Roe deer and moose are really difficult to make it, but they can make it. I need money, where should I go? I would go for a goose hunt if I were you. Oh my goodness, Aaron. That's a good one, I'll give you that. JG Wentworth will give you cash now. Can you sing it for us, though? Anyway, if we look at the trophy organs here, it's listed as skull. And it's because the trophy type is antler. So the idea is breaking the skull on this would ruin the trophy. Like, maybe you'd blow the bottom off of one of the antlers or whatever. So basically, don't go for brain. Although, it is actually possible by some weird bug or whatever to hit him in the brain and not touch the skull. I wouldn't attempt to do that. Do I have a diamond moose? I do not have a single diamond moose on the new scoring system. They weren't broken for a while, and I didn't really care to hunt for them. And then they broke them, and now I really want one, so... My bad for not going for one sooner, I guess. So there were four, which... God, those are ugly. I would expect there to be five, but... 
Seems like just four in that herd. I'm hoping they stop. Which he might do. Yeah. Can you sit still again? So that's almost all of them. Now we've talked about it the entire stream that it seems you gotta take out like all the males in a herd to get the respawn, so we'll probably chase that other guy and just get him out of the way too. The delay is real. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. 877 cash now, that's it. You got it. Drinking peach flavored water is disgusting. I have. What do I have? Strawberry watermelon or something? It's pretty good. Most of the flavored water I do is one or both of those combined. A map with muskox? I'd actually like muskox. They're kind of cool. I think they could do a pretty good job of making enough unique true horns with them that it wouldn't feel super repetitive. Just checking the fur type. Um, but yeah, I think that could actually be cool. They could do like Arctic Fox or Arctic Wolf, so that would be another new species. Uh, what else could they do? Moose could fit if they wanted to. Um, snowshoe hair would be new. I'm literally going off a of Cabela's game to think of ideas. Uh, I can't think of Arctic things. My delay in chat, not you. I still blame myself. I have a structured, oh goodness, that was a word, structured settlement and I need cash now. Can't help you, I'm sorry. Peach mango flavored Mio. Peach mango sounds good. Snow leopards would be a dream come true. I don't think they'd let us hunt those. That seems highly unlikely. Lynx, by the way, that's one you could fit there. Not a new species, but one you could put there for sure. Didn't they have two kinds of... Wolverine or some kind of other predator on the Alaskan Adventures Arctic map. It wasn't just the lynx. There was something else that would attack you. When is Tilford Edge Peaks coming out on console? Tomorrow, man. One more day. Hit. Kind of, you know, sometimes I miss the old way the game worked. It was too easy, to be fair, with like, you could spook an animal and immediately call it back in. But it sure was nice for, like, stuff like this, where it's not an animal you really care about, but you want to get it down for respawns. It's nice to be able to just spam the call and bring it right back. Every time he does a really good shot and proceeds not to actually show it for a second? Wait, what do you mean? Like when I drop them, I don't leave the scope up a lot of times. That, oh, was that him? That can be two things. Sometimes that's me, because I'm trying to do something quickly. Also, both of the right and the left click on my mouse don't work all the time. So sometimes even though I'm holding down the button, it just goes away. And you could say that I should just not play with, um, what's it called? Aim toggle? Or play with aim toggle, I guess. But I don't like it. So, yeah, that's... It could be just me. I don't even know on the last one. A uh, question about Classic. What would you recommend beginners to buy with $60 worth of VM? Okay. I would personally recommend getting a bow. I Like, write everything down. Don't just buy everything I say. Write things down and, like, figure out what adds up to a good, you know, even 6,000 EM. But I would go with a bow, and then if you can afford to get the sight, maybe go like Parker Python in the rangefinder sight, or honestly one of the pulsers in the rangefinder sight would be good. Then the crazy collar bundle. That's got almost every collar in the game. Most of the good ones. So that's going to put you somewhere around 3,000. I would probably go 9.2. 3, the 9.3 by 74R, the over and under, and 22 pistol. So that's gonna, that would be your main loadout, in my opinion. 9.3, 22, and the bow. 
I'm trying to think. You were going to want a scope for that. I would get the big scope. Big scope is very nice. It's the MK2 or something. And then maybe save the rest for clothing you might want or tents if you want to set up some stuff, tree stands, like that kind of stuff. But you can get a very solid basic loadout with the bow, the 9.3, and the 22 pistol. Parker Python was my nickname in college. Oh, Harvest Screen. I gotcha. Yeah, I could I could try to make an effort to share that. Um, you just like want to see where I hit it and stuff, I guess. It's something that I don't even pay attention to if it's not like a decent scoring animal. I get that though, that makes sense. I'll try to do a better job of leaving that up for a moment. I think this dude's just trotting out forever, so we're gonna pick up the pace a little. Should have 200k subs by now. Keep up the good work. Definitely trying my best, man. I think we're going to be close to 200k at the end of the year. It's going to be real close. Oh. Hi. What are we, like 173? So something around 6k a month. Did I do math right? I think I did. That's right about what we've been doing lately. So it'll be right around New Year's for 200k. That is, of course, assuming everything continues as is. Gone for about 20 minutes. You didn't miss too much, man. Just kind of smoking more and more stuff for response. Where's good for moose on this map? Uh, I hear this guy, so one sec. Generally, just in case I somehow completely forget. The west side of the map, Runaki, Willapeg, um... Parts of Chopeka are good. And then into the High Lake area in the middle. And Balmont's actually got a lot of meese too, but they're a little more spread out these days. Excuse you. I see ya. I guess that's the new sound they did. A lot of times I'll think I hear a second animal take off, but I think it's the way the spatial sound thing works. What's the Hunting Sim 2 update? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> that's something else I gotta do another video on here soon. Just in front of the heart. I wanted to try to heart shot him, but speak sad. All right, uh, got 30 minutes. I think we should go to maybe some blacktail spots we've been shooting stuff for respawns as well. Shot any diamonds today? None today so far. Me staying holy is the alert? Maybe. We'll see. I like the Twitch sub holy. It's 10 out of 10. Dems are just does. That's a slightly better buck. If I remember, it was a couple of twos here last time. Definitely a small improvement. I think I better call, because there's a bunch back in there. I would like the gooses to come now. They usually go on their own schedule, unfortunately. It's very annoying. bunch of threes, so I guess maybe last time when I thought there were only two bucks, there were more? Or something about those two bucks triggered a lot more respawns. It's one of the two. I feel like it could actually be the respawns thing, because I've been talking about that. Where's that 151? It's that guy, and then... I don't know, we'll just get one of the others. Probably get him to... Uh. That'll be good. Uh, Danny, thanks for the super chat, man. Why'd you change to the Frontier 300? I don't know. I used it in the one video and I was like, eh, let's keep using this one then. That guy's actually kind of big. Um, because we're in a tripod, we can actually shoot him. 
without deleting the zone. Could I post a really point buck on Discord? Yeah, there's an IRL hunting and fishing tab for that. We really need an Australia map. I think it could be really cool. I think there's a lot of potential for a good map with that, so I'd be happy with it. A couple of deer that were close to the tent, maybe. Kind of man. Yeah, I saw you streamed it a couple of times. I don't treat it as if it's, you know, on Call of the Wilds level or really even on Classics level. I kind of treat it like I did when I played um, Big Game Hunter 2004 season. Like, it's another hunting game that is different and I want to, like, play through it. Can I post IRL deer in Discord? Yeah, like I said, there's a IRL hunting and fishing tab for that, so... Anything real-life hunting-wise can go in there. That's a weird-looking one. Kind of like that. Okay. So... Um, I didn't go here yet. I want to try that spot. I know you can get elk there, but... I don't know. Bush Rangers running Call of the Wild? Um, I'd like them to not do a copy of Bush Rangers Run. I don't like that map a lot. Though the feral goats are very nice. I like them. What are you shooting fallow or roe deer with? Um, if you want to be able to take both, you're going to want to use like the 243. Or actually the Mosin would be good. Roe deer or class 3. Uh, finally caught you live. What did I miss? A bunch of stuff that was not very big. Nothing super special, but just kind of smoking through all the blacktail elk for respawns. I want to get a big rack diamond blacktail still and at least one more diamond elk, so just kind of working on that. Have there at least any roadmaps or what they want the game to be? I'm not aware of that, but I've also not followed it super closely. Uh, what's the M1 without the scope? Like, what's the open sights look like? Like that. Uh. Side quest for Silver Ridge Peaks. I still haven't actually done the main story missions. I'm probably going to stream that in a week or two. Once console's actually gotten it and had the chance to play through, so I'm not spoiling it for everybody that literally couldn't play it yet. But yeah, I literally I haven't done anything in the first mission even. Um, Aiden, thanks for the super chat, man. Just out here chasing some elk. They need to fix the bow sights. Yeah, I'd like for them to make a little more sense. Dog, you have a dog. Do you have a dog, I think is the question. I can't have pets in my apartment, unfortunately, so no. Oh, I took this tripod down. I'm just looking to go hop in it and take the shot from there. That's not going to work at all. Slightly bigger than, uh... I think both of the ones that we just shot, so... I suppose that's kind of nice. Uh, going for Springbuck right now? Any good locations? Honestly, most of the lakes, if you go there between, I think, 1500 and 1900 in the evening, you'll see a lot of them. They drink... Pretty much all over the map. How do you get the M1? It is in the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack. Most recent weapon pack released. An endangered species map I feel like would go over quite poorly. I don't think that's a good idea. Best no DLC loadout. 7 mil... 7 mil Hawk Edge... 22 and a shotgun if that would fit. I don't know if it will. But the only way to cover class 1 animals would be with birdshot or the 300 grain arrows, so would say it has to be like that. I want them to make for, oh, pre-loadouts like from Classic. Yeah, those are really nice. I like being able to just select the loadout that I've 
like already made for a certain map and just get going rather than sitting there at the beginning and swapping through all my inventory. Speed things up quite nicely. How much longer are we going to stream? Like 20 minutes-ish. They're all threes, Blacktail and Elk today. All level threes. Or level ones. Holy, a two. Alright. I'll probably try to smoke the three anyway. Uh. Which is there. Wait. Is that the same one? I thought I had a higher estimate. Guess it is. I don't see anything running off, so I guess maybe that was the one. There's a better three there. Yeah, hit him in the head, but not the next shot I wanted. Can you slow down? Doing weird stuff. Probably not going to get that one. Um, is it Dragos? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but thanks for the super chat, man. You got me into this game, and this game in IRL hunting. Thanks, I hope to see you again in multiplayer. I've been in multiplayer quite a lot, and I'm sure I'll be a lot in for uh, True Axe Mule Deer, so hopefully that can happen. But I appreciate you, man. You're your own dad? Can that happen? You can be your own grandpa, I know that. I heard a rumor that you're going to hunt pronghorn in real life. Is that true? That is true. G-Man and I are going to be going in less than two months. We started planning that. Has, was it two years ago? Something like two years ago, and it's actually, like, finally getting close. Excuse you. Just trying to spot things there. Wait, was that my tent? No. Must have been the other random tripod I had set up. But I would like to get that guy. And his friend. Wait. Huh. I'm actually not sure what was wrong with that shot. Well, he'll go down anyway. I haven't really tried the, uh... ARs in Hunting Sim McLovin. Are they money making guns? Really have not done anything with them. Okay. Luckily, we didn't lose our own tent. That would have been sad. How can you be your own grandpa? There's a song. Uh, what's his name? I don't know the original artist of it. What is his name? Ray Stevens or something? Somebody can help me. That no caps with the emote. I like that. Should make that into an emoji. With no caps. That's good. What state are we hunting pronghorn in? Wyoming. Do you need to do an exam and take lessons in order to get a hunting license in the US? Um... I think it varies by state slightly, but the general thing is you have to take a hunter safety course, which you can take uh, as young as 11 if you're going to turn 12 in that license year, I believe. And that's what I did. I took it the summer. I think the summer before I turned 12, so I would have been 11 at the time. And it's in PA, I think a 10 hour course total. It's like four hours on a Friday night and six hours on a Saturday afternoon. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fairly basic hunter education stuff, but you get that and then you're good. <laughs> you can get a license every year after that. Kind of a nice heart shot, actually. Have you noticed the crazy ways the animals have died? I've noticed they started landing weird. I think that's a product of them uh, making antlers have hitboxes so they don't land so nicely anymore. 
Will we get a Flinter and Girlfriend stream? We had one of those on Twitch Wednesday night, actually. The VOD's still there if you want to check that out. My Twitch is Flinter Gaming. Same link, actually, as YouTube, but... The YouTube username is different. I live in Wyoming, I hunted pronghorn and mule deer. We had thought about trying to grab like a general deer tag or something too, but we ended up not going that route. Maybe next time. PA has the entire hunter safety course online now too. Yeah, I figured probably most states do, which I would say it's probably not as effective, but you know, they've I'm sure done everything they can to make it fulfill their requirements. Too low. Too low. That was a little further than I thought. Okay, um... Hmm... Where should we go? Let's just see what's up here again. Hi, it's the JW. What's going on, dude? Uh, I think it didn't turn out quite like that, McLovin. Of course, I was involved, so maybe it's different from a remove perspective. Didn't really know there were ducks up here. Eh. Pretty small ones. I guess we'll get this close this mail if we can. May not catch a lot of streams, but I still peep most vids. I appreciate huge mail. Holy biggest mail I've ever seen. Wait, what? Oh, had to. Yeah. Hey, you know, I respect that. I would have had to as well. Where do you live? I live in PA. Oh, let's go back here again. I wanted to get those couple of bulls that... One of them stole my shot by ducking in front of it. Just got a diamond goose? Nice, dude. I still want to get more diamond gooses. I actually kind of like them. I used to not really care for them, but... They're cool. Are you gonna tell me my elkses are gone? It's their drink time, and we reset the times. So they should be here. Oh. Little further away than normal. That might help us, because that does, like, slow down their fleeing time a little bit. That's a moose. Okay. Oh, goodness, the recoil. Probably good enough. Get both of them and maybe that herd's actually going to respawn now. How's life? How's the streams been going? Been going good, man. Just been, you know, enjoying the grind, trying to find a couple of things for the trophy lodge before True Rack Mule Deer. Been a good time as always. What you been up to? Rona been hard, gained a few kilograms. Well, you know, you gotta build up the storage. I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> without sounding mean. Build up the storage for in case it all goes south. Don't run away from me. Oi! I know you can't be leaving. Your drink zone's still active. Where are you going? That was kind of weird. I don't know why he just randomly decided to leave. That's against the rules. Uh, Aiden, thanks for the super chat, man. In Utah, there's a three hour or so online course, then a 50 question written test, then a shooting test, and you can get your small game license as young as eight. I kind of like that they do a shooting test. Because with us, there were like 30 of us that took the course. But there were guns, and we had to like identify, you know, like the safety and. If I remember right, we didn't have to do much with rifles, but for some reason, flintlocks, there was a huge emphasis placed on those. But anyway, um, they had the firing pins out, so there was definitely no shooting that occurred the entire time. Which I get why, but still, I think a shooting test is a really good idea. That way you know, especially with younger 
you know, people 8 years old, 12 years old, whatever it is that they've actually handled a gun before and know what they're getting into. Just got here, so sorry if it's been asked before, but is there any plans for a mule deer guy I'd like to wear for other species getting true racks? Um, the reason I didn't do one is... Well, there's a couple of reasons, I guess, but... Parquet, like... I didn't feel like there was a good reason to do a mule deer guide on Parquet when Silver Ridge was better. But then it didn't make sense for the people on console because they couldn't even do it. So I sort of just ended up not doing that one. I might still do a mule deer guide. I think all of the above has done one, though. So maybe I'll just link to that at some point. But yeah, I might still do a mule deer guide. We'll see. Will you put the pronghorn hunt on YouTube? Yeah, man. We're going to try to film it. More about flintlock, flintlocks and rifles? Yeah, I remember having to identify, like, every part of a flintlock for some bizarre reason. Because, like, 10% of PA hunters probably hunt with a flintlock. Would think you'd focus a little more on rifles, actually. I don't know. Shooting requirements in Jersey, too? Huh. I think every state should do that. What time does the map come out tomorrow? Nobody knows the actual time release, but... Morning to midday. That's Eastern time, by the way. If you're in... Uh, European time, it's gonna be more like... Midday to evening. Did fast traveling make him disappear? Or is it that he didn't leave tracks? Because he should have been... Roughly here, and he ran this way. Maybe I left a render of him. I kind of didn't feel like I did. If you leave render of an animal and then fast travel, very often uh, the body is not visible. And then if you try to claim it, you crash your game. Unless this is it. Is that blood? I see blood. Hopefully he's here then. Yeah, I see him. Good zones down south for Whitetail. Yeah, there's a bunch in this area. Hello? I don't know if I've spooked him yet, so the collar might actually work. If I can get it out. Yeah, so a bunch down through here. Um, I got my piebald diamond down in this area. There are some at Belmont Lake. Like, they're pretty all through the southern areas. My controller died and I got... Ended by a lion. Happens to the best of us, man. I'm assuming he's probably coming in. I also think he's very small from as vocal as he is. I mean, average size. I might hear more, though. Again, it could be the new way that they did spatial sound, but now nah, there's... Decent three. You see nothing. Chill out. Do I have my bow? No. Almost sure I'm not fast enough to get both of them. It does seem like there's just the two. They're both alert. We'll try to get the better one and maybe see what happens from there. Literally can't even make a hard shot at <laughs> like 10 meters. Goodness. How do you report a server? I don't know that there's actually any way of doing that, to be honest. There probably should be. I'm just not sure you can. Almost dropped my phone. You gotta hang on to that. Lose your phone, what are you gonna do? I thought that looked weird. Very strange looking elk. Okay, their drink time is just about over. As is to stream. So we'll probably... Is that him? It is. Probably just go down through here is what I was going to say. 
try to get any bonus kills that we can. I think... Should be intestines. Maybe not. You're not gonna follow the moose? No, you are. And he's gonna go down, so... We'll spend a decent amount of time tracking him, and maybe we can smoke one more thing along the way. Posted a turkey in the Discord IRL. Nice, dude. I'll check through all that stuff after the stream. Should come hunting in Alberta. Maybe someday. Who knows? What part of PA? Um, I'm like West Central, so reasonably close to the area you're referring to. Guess I gotta re click on that track before I go. Snow geese are next. I actually like hunting them. Might do another video on them sometime soon. When did I shoot my first animal in real life? Um, I shot a groundhog when I was five, I think, and then a squirrel when I was six. I don't know if groundhogs count as game animals, but squirrels definitely do. You're probably wondering, some of you that don't know how it works, how I could be shooting stuff before I was 12 because you got to take the hunter safety course. You can hunt as a men or youth, I think at any age. As long as you have like some someone there with you and whatever other requirements that I don't remember because I was five and six years old. But yeah, there is abilities to hunt when you're younger. A little too far back and a little too high. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to go here because it's a good spot and we're guaranteed to find something. Did I like your 9.3 diamond I sent? Yeah, it was a big mail, dude. Biggest mail I've ever seen. Uh, you should get an IRL great one. Well, that would be nice. Let's see if we can manage such a feat. You know, McLovin, it's funny you say that about the calls, because I was hunting for the Arctic Fox Summer Fiesta mission, and I, I'm hearing this sound, and I'm like, what is that? I've never heard that on White Rhyme before, completely having forgot that they added snow geese. They are really strange sounding. That's... I guess that's a respawn. That's the biggest one we've seen the entire stream picked a good place to come back to. Uh, so, I'm not sure which of those came up in what order, but we got Danny's, which I read, Michael Sloan with the super chat as well. Thank you, man. Level 30, grind or yeah. go for diamonds and golds of specific species. I would wait till you're like 40 or 50 to really focus on diamonds. I'd probably worry about trying to get a little higher level, because some of the skills and perks you'll get between now and some higher levels are going to make life a lot easier for diamonds a bit later. So that's what I would do. And we got Drake as well with the super chat. How's your day been? It's been good, man. We've actually gotten a lot done as far as elk for respawns. Got some good stuff done earlier. And there's a video coming out in literally two minutes. So I want to make sure we get these couple of elk and then wrap up the stream because I want to have the stream done by the time that video comes out. And uh, we'll try to do that now. <laughs> Wow, he ran fast. All right, well, we're looking to have one then. Easy. Just got home from work. What did I miss? Not too much, man. The elk that we just shot there is the biggest one we've seen all stream. Um, we've probably shot close to 20 bull elk. A couple of blacktail bucks, some ducks, coyotes. You know, lots of latent stuff for respawns for the next time we head out. But yeah, as I said, got a video coming out here in one minute now. And I'm going to try to get this... Uh, I can't go this way, can I? Or can you go through here? You can. Um, I'm going to try to get the stream wrapped up quickly so you guys can check that out. It's a short video, but um, the timing of it basically has to be what it is. Great one is the biggest big male ever. Biggest male I've ever seen. But anyway... 
The video is now out. If you guys want to go check that out, we're just going to wrap this up here momentarily. Is that a thing? That is another elk. Hmm. He's by himself. I think we should wrap up with a gold instead of a small silver, so... We'll take that one we got and keep in mind that we have a drink zone there to actually go to, but... That's going to be the blood. He's down right there. Answer the donos. I think I went through all of them, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Definitely got them all. But yeah. One halfway decent respawn for the end of the stream. And I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. As I said, video is out if you want to watch that. Just a short one, but interesting stuff for beginning of True Rex for Mule Deer tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the amazing support. As always, you guys are the best. And I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow with the Mule Deer. We'll see. Um, definitely there's going to be a video, uh, and then there might be a stream as well. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. 